uh, meeting to order, the, the uh, city council meeting to order, and ask everyone to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Must be the holiday, huh? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The roll, please. Shower. Here. McIver. Here. Marquez. Kenny. Here. Klistic. Here. Belzac. Here. Belke. Here. Six present and one absent. We have a quorum. The next item is questions, announcements, uh, comments, and announcements. Of a general nature, we do not have anyone in the audience, uh, but I, we do have. We have two times now. We could talk about the items that are on the agenda this evening and. And I guess maybe we should just take this time right now. Uh, would there, does, does anybody have any questions? There's two items uh, under um, the consent agenda. I had some questions. Okay, which which one was it? On the uh, mo the uh, B motion. Uh, let's see which one. Okay, this is uh, the questions I had uh, on the estimates at, in the middle of the page t down towards the bottom. It's w it's like what, five years? Is that five? Seven. Seven, seven years of estimates. Is Will the contract, uh, is, will that period of time, at the end of that period of time, will we not be uh, funding that anymore? Um, yes, the uh, built into that uh, seven-year timetable is to end that process with uh, three million dollars in re um, assets in order to either uh, upgrade or um, move to a different platform. But but that, those asset those assets have to continue being replenished on a regular basis. Isn't isn't this um, <coughs> these isn't this process going to continue on for years to come? Yes, um, it, at Got the end of that years. seventh year, yeah. there'll be a decision that needs to be made because uh, nobody knows what technology it's going to be in seven years. Much you know, Sometimes you don't even know what it's going to be in seven months. So there's a, um, monies that are built into the process in order to have money at the end of that um, cycle to either purchase new or to continue yeah, that's that what process. I was figuring, that the, this, is an, this is an attempt to accumulate funds for replacements. That's correct. That it's yeah. built in. So okay. part of it is pur purchasing what has already been uh, purchased by the um, DuPage by and the then, du and then uh, building up uh, a cash reserve yeah. in order to go yeah. uh, beyond what the okay. life cycle is. The other thing I had was uh, since this is this is all estimates, do we really want to vote on something that's just estimates when we don't? don't These are pretty, uh, pretty secure items now. The um, when I was here in July of last year, uh, gave you estimates at that time. Now they're um, much more specific, and uh, it looks like about a 22% drop in what was originally estimated. Uh, I think they were being very conservative in the cost of fiber, the cost of replacements, cost of different things. So um, the last I have heard that, that these numbers are going to be the numbers. The numbers. Correct. Okay. And, and Chief, I think if, you know, this is, we come across this uh, more often where whether it's do we going to build a building, if the communities don't sign on, are you ever really going to be able to get the final estimate? Correct. It, it, it's a little problematic that way also. And because um, everybody has that original group, and I, I can't. Um, got to be every municipality in DuPage County. It, it's it's close. I, it's like about who, who 30 agencies. Who didn't contribute? Yeah. Oh, right. I would Burr Ridge wouldn't be in it because they're on their own. Uh, there's probably Burr Addison. Ridge is um, participating, Burr Ridge Which Police. There, but there's a number of uh, fire agencies, and I don't know all the oh, agencies that are okay. in DuPage Addison County. Addison is in their own district with, I think, two towns. I don't know. But I think um, Addison is participating. They are. Okay. This is not CAD. This is the records right. management system. 
So, and even on CAD, they would still participate in, in the, the CAD yeah. portion of it because it's all part of the DuPage ETSB. Well, th this this whole program is for the uh, the PRMS program. Correct, Police yeah. and Records Management System. So, why system. would the fire protection agencies be involved in it? At is all? there are some uh, police journal and different things that are uh, involved, but it's the whole project that was all wrapped up. So oh. that you purchase um, CAD. Computer aided dispatch, you pur purchase records management system, RMS, and you pr purchase the mobile clients. Okay. And so all those s systems uh, are integrated, so there is some bleed over in costs. Okay. Does everybody feel comfortable? I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm be voting on these estimates, which the chief feels are pretty concrete, solid. For Mel? What option do we have? Not vote on this until we have concrete numbers? But everybody would be in the same position because nobody's going to have concrete numbers until um, everybody starts um, approving in their IGA. Is, is this a seven-year commitment, or could we vote on one year and then each year vote on? I doubt it. No, it's a, want, it's a commitment to be a part of that yeah. process. Yeah. Is the program that they're, they're, pro they're, they're sponsoring or wanting to put together for the police department, is it, is it really advantageous to you? Is it really going to make a difference? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We have to do something. So you either um, go with economies of scale and go with the other communities and purchase this, or you go out on your own and purchase and um, pay several million dollars on your own. Um, the Motorola system is end of life. It's already, personally, I thought it was end of life before it even started. But, um, <laughs> We've heard that Personal before. comment. Would it help you with in, in the future? Suppose we did go by ourselves. And in, and I'll suppose you know Bur we go to Burr Ridge looking for for data, you know Burr Ridge is to say well you can't, it's too bad you're not part of our system we're not going to give it so that would you know and there's a sense that you know penny wise pound foolish they could handcuff you later down the road if we didn't get for engaged sure. correct? Yeah, for sure. um, it could possibly happen. This system is built it's inter, uh, interoper interoperational so that um, all those agencies on there are going to be able to share information. Um, after 911, you're supposed to be interoperable with data and interoperable with communications. And so this is one more step closer to interoperability. I have a question. Yeah. Could it be um, not to, can there be language that it's not to exceed pending city council approval, you know, if it goes over a certain amount? Um, that way you were protected because, you know, what if it's not 19,000, it's 190,000? You know, I'm some crazy number, probably not, but. Um, I'm just trying to think of a way to kind of cap it or put some parameters around it. Uh, it went through negotiations, went through all the different attorneys from those different um, locations, and the agreement is what the agreement's going to be. Was our attorney? Who was the attorney? Yeah, John, John reviewed it, John but reviewed um, it. the attorneys, um, I think it was DuPage or um, Downers Grove and a couple others that were um, they, intimately was involved, in, involved in, in that. Okay. Correct. Okay. And Chief, isn't there some other savings um, in terms of man hours for putting together some st statistics and stuff like that? Well, there's Just a little lot little of savings on um, records management time, uh, records entry time that the clerks have to do. There'll be savings on the officer's time because it's a mobile um, platform so that the officers don't have to re-enter the same data that they've entered before. Uh, so there is some uh, cost savings in other places beyond just uh, the system itself. Mm -hmm. What do you think it would save an average officer on a, on a day as far as paperwork and what, what not? Uh, I, I don't know. Hard to know. Okay, we'll leave it on the agenda then. Quick for question. For 2019, you have a $9,000 jump, then it goes like 100 bucks, a couple hundred, 1000 Is there a reason for an $8,000 jump from 2018 to 2019? From 21851 to 30102 I think what they're... Um, they're phasing in personnel, and so that's an, um, an additional personnel cost. And then once that person's there, then it's going to uh, flatten out. So. Okay, we'll leave that on the agenda, and if we can, uh, we can. Uh, I have other. We have other questions. If we have other questions on other sure. items, we can ask during the, the regular meeting. Okay, uh, since that we have no audience, we'll move right on to uh, the approval of the minutes of August twenty first, two thousand seventeen. Do I have a motion to approve? Alderman Belke, seconded by Alderman Kenny. Any additions or deletions for the clerk? Uh, 
In the roll, please. Belke? Aye. Kenny? Aye. Belzac? Aye. Klistic? Aye. Shower? Aye. McIver? Aye. Mayor Case is absent. Six ayes and one absent. Uh, the minutes have been approved. Uh, receiving you have communications. Do any of the aldermen have any to share? Let's move on to the mayor's report, and there is no mayor's report this evening. City clerk's report. One item, Madam Mayor. Uh, meet and greet will take place with the mayor on Monday, September the 18th uh, at 6 p.m. here at City Hall in the upstairs conference room. City administrator's report. Uh, no report, Mayor. Thank you. Department head information. Uh, police, uh, uh, Chief Thomas, did you want to go over your report? or? Um, I have no there report. There is no report. That's right. It's Correct. not this time. Yep. Uh, any questions for Chief Thomas? All right, then let's move on to the treasurer's report. Thank you, Madam Mayor. This evening I'm requesting council's approval of warrant number 171809 in the amount of $437,497.15 from the listed funds, payroll for the period ended August 31st, 2017, in the amount of $247,576.35 for a total to be approved of $685,073.50. I do have a motion to approve. Alderman Belzik, seconded by Alderman Schauer. I have one comment. I, I, I am. I'm just. I don't. I don't. I don't know what the words are to say. But with all of the uh, uh, corrections throughout the document, it's it's getting very um, confusing. It's get. Why are, is there an entry and then a then then a, a reversal? The, it's it's on every page. It's all over. Uh, What's yep. going on? Uh, uh, I, I guess I'd like to address this. Uh, I got an email from our accounts payable clerk the other day, and the, I think there is a, uh, not necessarily a problem here, but for you, you know, let me read it to you. For your information, wanted to let you know that when looking at the reports, you will see three sessions for accounts payable. So what you're saying is true. You'll see one in, one out, and another one in. Uh, yesterday, my AP entries were not there when I wanted to print the checks. I reversed the session, created a new one so that I would not have to enter all the bills again, printed the checks, but we had to reverse that session as well so it would not duplicate. Uh, our accountant double-checked the accounting to make sure it's correct. I put a call into our software company as to why this happened, but as yet have not had a return call. Uh, it's never happened before. It sort of surprised me when I saw it too, and I guess I. Well, I we've had we've had inputs uh, well, inputs and then reversals on on other occasions. Yeah, but not this is not where we this, this is where we have every item being input and then reversed and then re-input. In the past, what happens is if we have a check and then when I'm signing them or when Brian's reviewing them, if we notice an error, that is reversed and then the correct one is put through. That one we have on many occasions. You're right. And we ta had this discussion about can't we just show the, the real one instead? And we can't because yeah. we're voiding that one check. But in this case, there is triple, triple reporting in essence. And I'm not sure it's a problem with the software. I mean, we have had some turnover in personnel in the accounting department. So I have a feeling it's more understanding and working with the software. But uh, I did get this from her the other is day. Is there an so issue with the software? Do we, do we know if there is? Well, there hasn't well, been there hasn't been over all the years to this point in my mind. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, you know, w with new staff, we run into some issues on the payroll, as an example, and had to fix things. The accounts payable, Dorothy has been doing those routinely now for some time. About two years. Yeah. About two years. So she has never had this experience this problem yet, and I haven't talked to her. Uh, you know, since that email, Mike, I haven't talked mm -hmm. to her to know if, you know, we got back to her or not. So, I, and I don't know specifically the problem, but I. I'm, I don't anticipate that there's a significant problem with our software, but so you c there could be a human error as part of this. Um, but she I, said I she input it, and then when she came back to it, it wasn't there. I mean, yeah. Okay. So I don't know. You know, th 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 there's different screens that come up. If you if you if she's putting uh, the numbers in, you get a phone call. You miss a screen. There's just things like that that could happen. I don't know to the extent they're causing this. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very comfortable since I do review and sign all the checks. I did scan it so after I got this email. I scanned the warrant just to make sure that yeah. everything was in accordance with my signature and my final review of it, and I am comfortable with that. But it does make for very sloppy reporting on a report like this. Okay. All righty. All right, so we anticipate not seeing th this kind of situation. Uh, Treasurer Corn, just quickly, uh, for the locks for storage and personal items, is that just for just lockers, 4,800? Is that just master locks, or what does that include? There's um, 
each officer has one full and then a half locker. And so all those, um, those 22 years of using those locks and a lot of them didn't function anymore. So, so the, so locks the whole lockers there. were just replaced then? No, locks. Oh, oh okay. Only locks. And then for the gutters for the police department, was that budgeted for this year? Okay. That's all I have. Okay. Extra Thank you. Two dollars under budget. Two dollars <laughs> under budget. Wow. Well, a, few, a few dollars. A few dollars. Close to two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Dan know you pointed it out. He'll appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions for the treasurer? Then the roll, please. Belzac. Aye. Shower. Aye. McIver. Aye. Belkey. Aye. Klistic. Aye. Kenny. Aye. Six ayes, one absent. The warrant has been approved. Let's move to standing committee reports. Does the chairman of those committees have reports? Alderman Schauer. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, the minutes from the May 1st, 2017 admin finance meeting were approved and submitted tonight to the clerk's office. And our next admin finance meeting will be held on Monday, October 2nd, 2017 at 6 p.m. in our upstairs meeting room. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, the meeting of the Darien Police Committee is scheduled for Monday, September 18th at 6 p.m. in the <coughs> Police Department training room, um, pending a quorum as I am not available to attend that meeting. So um, we'll see if uh, Alderman Marquis can make it. Okay, I guess he's not here to answer that question. All right, and uh, the last committee? Yeah. Oh, Marqu Alderman Marquez is not here. I Alrighty. I have the information. Though. Okay, go ahead. Uh, municipal Services is scheduled to meet on Monday, September 25th at 6.30 p.m. here at City Hall. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to uh, questions and comments. Agenda related, does anybody have any, uh, any additional questions on the agenda this evening? Then let's move to old business and there being no old business. I'll move right to the consent agenda. We have two items on the consent agenda. The first item is a motion to approve an ordinance authorizing the sale of personal property owned by the City of Darien, which includes a 2005 Tahoe, a microwave, projector, and other various items. Do I have a motion? Oh, excuse me. And then item B is a motion to approve a resolution author approving an intergovernmental inter agreement between the City of Darien and the County of DuPage for the purpose of imp implementing a minor unified police reporting management system. The acronym is PRMS. Do we have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Alderman Belzik, seconded by Alderman McIver. The roll, please. Belzik. Aye. McIver. Aye. Shower. Aye. Klistic. Aye. Kenny. Aye. Belkey. Aye. Six ayes and one absent. Uh, the I, uh, consent agenda has been approved and let's move to new business and there being no new business uh, let's move to questions comments and announcements of a general nature uh, during fest is this weekend uh, Claire sent out an, uh, an email to the council to see if anybody was willing to help out in the beer tent and uh, so please respond to her. I know Alderman Belzik, I saw your, your comment. I'll, I'll have my, I wonder if they have the same setup where we're putting our hands into the cold bin <laughs> with, uh, with the us. Yeah, oh man, that was rough, that was rough. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll be working Saturday night too. So if you have any time, she needs help on Friday, Saturday and Sunday uh, at the beer tent. So uh, with that, do I have a motion to um, adjourn? Alderman McIver. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, more yes. Questions? More questions. Um, do we want to go back into executive session after this since this is so short? For a little bit anyway? Uh, sure. If, uh, it does uh, do what? Uh, For a little bit? Do we have. Do sure. I'm not sure. There's no football I'm on, not, right? I'm not sure that uh, I'm hearing the vibes here to. Uh, Who's in favor? For a little bit? Team plan. Let's go. Okay. Well, to come back here to close out the meeting. No, we can okay. adjourn because there's no further action okay. to be taken. Well, we adjourn from the executive session upstairs. So I have to ask for another motion. I would imagine mm -hmm. uh, to to go into executive session again for the for the uh, purpose of discussing personnel section 2C1 of the Open Meetings Act. Do I have a motion to approve uh, Alderman Belzac and all and Alderman Belkey. Okay. Okay. The roll. Belzac. Aye. 
Belke? Aye. Uh, Kenny? Aye. McIver? Aye. Shower? Aye. Plistic? Aye. Uh, six present and one absent. Okay. And the time is 7.40. Okay. Yeah. Greg, can you lock the door when you're going out? I mean, is that, I don't have a do key. you have that ability to do that? No, I don't have a key. Okay. All right. You really did me a turn the first Yes, yeah, so I was going to say. Did we we, we, only, uh, we only know what had I'm one motion, and that was by McIver.